Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Edu Medici channel. In today's video, we are going to explain step by step how to find quartiles, the upper and lower quartiles of a given set of grouped data. As you know, quartiles divides a given set of data into four equal parts. Into four equal parts. To understand more, let us solve a question. And this is the question. The question reads, the table below shows a frequency distribution for the final marks in a mathematics examination. Max number of students are given. And the question wants us to find the lower and upper quartiles lower and upper quartiles to solve this question we need to draw frequency distribution table in our frequency distribution table we need to have at least three important columns these are the class the frequency and the cumulative frequency column the frequency column and the class column are given in the question are given in the question this is the class values of the class column and this is the values of the frequency column so in our frequency distribution table these are the number of columns that we need the class i added two more columns that's lower limit and upper limit to make our work easy and also the frequency and cumulative frequency column. In our class column, I filled the given data. A class has two limits, the upper and lower limit. For example, this class zero to nine, zero is the lower limit and nine is the upper limit. To get the lower limit, we subtract 0 0.5 from the lower limit to get the lower limit boundary we subtract 0 0.5 from the lower limit here 0 is the lower limit if you subtract 0 0.5 from 0 we are going to get a negative and there is no glass length of negative value so we have here 0 to get the upper limit we add 0 0.5 to 9 that's now 9.5 Likewise, you feel the rest subtracting and adding 0 0.5. Here, the frequency column is already given. I already filled. Come to the cumulative frequency. To fill the cumulative frequency, we add the subsequent uh, value, values of the frequency. For example, here, we start with the first one. That's 1. Then to get the next, we add the first one to the second one. That is 1 plus 13, then we get 14. To get the, the next one, we add 14 to the next one. That's 5 to get 19. Then the next we obtain by adding 19 to 11, that is 30. Then next 30, to, we add to 4, then we get 34. That 4 we add to 6, then we get 40. That's how to fill the cumulative frequency column. Here, if you add all the frequencies, you are going to get 40. Summation means sum. Sum of F, sum of frequency is 40. Now, let's calculate uh, upper and lower quartiles. Upper quartile, to calculate the upper quartile, we use this formula. We add the lower limit the lower limit of the upper quartile class, the lower limit of the upper quartile class, it's not the lower limit of the median class, it's the lower limit of the upper quartile class, plus a quarter times n. n is the total number of the frequency. Here we have 40. C is the cumulative frequency of the class above the upper quartile class, of the class above the upper quartile class and i is the class interval and f 
is the frequency of the upper quartile class frequency of the upper quartile class so let's now uh, first of all locate the upper quartile class yeah the formula is uh, l plus and uh, 3 over 4 n minus c times i all by f so let's get the upper quartile class uh, upper quartile uh, class you can now obtain upper quartile class uh, by just getting what upper is uh, quartile upper quartile is three quarter so we multiply three quarter times n three quarter times n to get the upper quartile class to locate the upper quartile class n is the total number of frequency here our n is equals to 40 total number of frequency total number of frequency is our n so 3 over 4 times n which is 40 you're going to get what 10 uh, we're going to get what that is sorry that because by 4 is 1 by 4 is 10 10 times 3 is 30 sorry it's 30 we're going to get 30 so uh, let's now locate our upper quartile class is 30 so we add and uh, we go to the cumulative frequency this is 1 14 19 so that is this one now and the class is what inside the class the upper quartile class is 30 to 39 just similar to the one of to the one of the median 30 to 39 is our upper quartile class upper quartile class and great so if we go back to the now uh, to the formula we are adding the upper uh, the lower limit of the upper quartile class so this is our upper quartile class 30 to 39 the lower limit is 29.5 so here q3 is equals to the lower limit is 29.5 that's L, 10.5, plus, uh, plus 3 over 4 times L, which is 40, minus the cumulative frequency of the class above the upper quartile class. Our upper quartile class is 30 to 39. So the cumulative frequency of uh, our upper quartile class is 30. And the class above our upper quartile class is 20-29. It is cumulative frequency is 19. Just similar to the one of to the one of uh, to the one of median. 19. Time is I is what? I is class interval. I is class interval. And it is what? And it is 10. So times 10. Olva F f is the frequency of the upper quartile class this is our class and its frequency is what is 11 divided by 11 so here we are going to add 29.5 plus by 4 1 by 4 is what 10 10 times 3 is 30 30 minus 19 we are going to get what 30 minus 19 is it 11 30 minus 19 is 11 great 11 times 10 is 110. 110 divided by 11. We are going to get 10. So 29.5 plus 10. This will give you what? Uh, 39.5. This is now the, the upper quartile. This is the, this is the upper quartile. Let's now calculate the lower quartile. Q1. The lower quartile. Lower quartile. Q1. Lower quartile. Lower quartile is equal to L plus uh, N over 4. Uh -huh. N over 4, sorry. Minus C over F times I. Times I. L is just like this one. L is, is the lower limit of the lower quartile class. Lower quartile class. So let's get the lower quartile class. Lower quartile. Lower quartile class is equal to uh, 
is equals to n over 4. Lwa kwatal gilas is equals to what? n over n over 4. n over 4. Our n, our n here, n is the total number of frequency. n is the total number of frequency. Total number of frequency. Therefore, our n here is what? Our n is 40. Our i likewise is just same across the classes. Our i is what? Our i is, is 10 also. i is the class interval. So here 40, uh, 40 divided by 4, we are going to get 10. 10. So we go to the cumulative frequency. Here is 1. Then from 2 up to 14 we have here. So 10 the frequency of 10 now is under this class, is within this class. So the lower quartile class is 10 to 19. Lower quartile class is what? 10 to 19. 10 to 19. The lower quartile class is 10 to 19. The lower quartile class is 10 to 19. The lower quartile class is 10 to 19. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Our C here, C, we have said C is the frequency, is the cumulative frequency of the class above the lower quartile class. Our lower quartile class is this one. This is our lower quartile class, 10 to 19. So the class above this class is 0 to 9, this class. So it is cumulative frequency is 1. Cumulative frequency is what? It's 1. So our C here is 1. And we have said F, we have said F, F is the frequency of the quartile, lower quartile class. It's the frequency of the lower quartile class. And our lower quartile class is 10 to 19, this is the class. So it is frequency, it's what? It's 13. It's frequency, is 13. So we are going just to substitute now. Quartile, and lower quartile is equal to L, and L is the lower limit is the lower limit of the lower quartile class this is our lower quartile class and the lower limit of this class is 9.5 9.5 plus plus n divided by 2 our n is 40 40 divided by 4 minus c our c is 1 over f which is 13 times i which is 10 times i which is 10 so the lower quartile class is equal to uh, 9.5 plus 40 divided by 4 is 10 10 minus 1 is 9 9 times 10 is 19 uh, 9, uh, time, 9 times 10 is 90 so 90 divided by 13 by uh, 90 over 13, we're going to get 6.9231. So if we add all of these, we're going to get uh, 9.5 plus 6.9231. This is 16.4231. That is our lower quartile value. For interquartile range, Interquartile range is the difference between the lower and upper quartiles. Therefore, interquartile range is equal to upper quartile minus lower quartile. In our case, the upper quartile is 39.5, while the lower quartile is 16.4231. Therefore, interquartile range is equal to 39.5 minus 16.4231.